Hello and welcome to the fourth part of TurboSan's guide to the Ease Focus 2 software. The auto splay function is useful for reducing time used to set up configurations. This modifies the angle between boxes and the vertical display angle to optimize the SPL level in the target audience areas. Let's look at using auto splay on the left main array. Initially, we set the boxes to be used for auto splay and then we set the strategy. The conventional strategy runs the system with no constraints. Arcuate supplies a constant opening angle between adjacent boxes, and Spiral supplies an increasing opening angle between adjacent boxes. Under target audience areas, we can find all the areas aimed at by the loudspeaker. We can then select which we are going to target for the operation. Seeing as our setup will include specific delays for the balconies, we should deselect it when considering the current line array. In the side view, we can now see that the balcony was excluded from calculations. We can also copy auto splay setups by right clicking on our modified array and then copying and pasting to the other arrays. Alternatively, you can use the Copy Setup to Other Arrays option in the left-hand panel before selecting which arrays you would like to copy the settings to. In this case, we only want to copy the settings to the right main array. Now it's time to evaluate our setup. Here, it is best to use Mapping. Click on Show Mapping to see this. When mapping is activated, a color chart appears on the right of the window to help interpret the results you will get. In the top menu bar, we can select multiple mapping options. We can select whether the SPL is measured as a Z rating or if it is A-weighted to human hearing. We can also choose if the bandwidth is broadband or if it is limited to a number of octaves. Specific sources and areas can also be deactivated depending on your analysis preference. For both areas and sources, you can create groups to help you with your manipulation of the scene. To do this, select the desired elements, go to Manage Groups, and then click to store the current selection. We can create two groups one for the main arrays, and one for the delay arrays. When only one group is selected, the unused arrays will be crossed out. The same applies to the audience areas. As a shortcut for creating area groups, we can click on Copy Areas to. This will allow us to make and manage groups. All the SPL calculations in EaseFocus are limited to a direct field. Also included in the calculations are ear attenuation effects according to ISO 9613. However, shadowing and ground reflections are not considered. Thank you for watching and don't forget to come back for part 5 of our EaseFocus 2 software guide.